صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Like many other cities across the United States, Tucson is home to a growing Muslim community. وعلم عباد الله أن الله تعالى أمرنا بأمر بدأ فيه بنفسه. Imam Watek al Obaidi is the leader of the Islamic Center of Tucson. He says he left his role as Imam of the largest mosque in Iraq when he and his family became the victims of terrorism. Imam Watek says this experience with terrorism has helped shape him as a spiritual leader. He says his role is to treat all members of this diverse Muslim community equally, regardless of color or race. During Friday prayers here at the Islamic Center of Tucson, families and friends gather for a timeless ritual of Islamic faith. Since this mosque was built in 1980, the congregation has grown. Now up to 700 people routinely attend prayer, and space is often at a premium. Since that time, this space now is becoming smaller and smaller for us, for the congregation, because of the community is growing. So we have a standing room only. I mean, basically the lobby is full and all that. So Maksud Ahmed is chairman of the Board of Trustees for the Islamic Center of Tucson. He says this mosque is unique because of its diversity. And he says the congregation has historically been made up largely of students and professors affiliated with the U of A. But recently there's been an influx of new Muslims. Right now we are seeing a growing trend. The last 24 months we have seen a lot of refugees uh, from uh, Somalia, uh, generally in Africa, and also Afghanistan. Uh, two of those areas have really uh, brought in a lot of refugees. Expansion is now underway at the mosque to accommodate the growing needs of the congregation. But Maksud says there is a tension in the U.S. that has put many Muslim Americans on edge. Today, we must be fully aware that homegrown radicalization is part of al-Qaeda's strategy con to continue attacking the United States. Maksud points to the recent Peter King hearings on the radicalization of Muslims as the latest example of what he says is a pervasive trend of Islamophobia. As we approach the 10-year anniversary of the September 11th attacks, we cannot allow the memory of that tragic day to fade away. He has really taken this issue, Islamophobia, to the next level, and where he is trying to legitimize it's okay to intimidate a Muslim, to tell them that they are, they are terrorists, to tell them that they are trying to enforce the Sharia law here, which is totally opposite to what Islam teaches us. Be sure to state your thesis up front. Also be sure you have... Muslim Americans say anti-Islamic rhetoric can often be traced to ignorance or a lack of understanding about Islam. Sure, so the class is called Islamic Thought. It's uh, an upper division class. It's also a general education class. Maha Nassar is a professor in the Near Eastern Studies Department at the University of Arizona. She's also a member of the Islamic Center of Tucson. While there is a lot of Islamophobia that's been on the rise in the general public, I think among a lot of our students, particularly at the U of A, there's also an increased curiosity about uh, learning about the Middle East, learning about Islam from the perspective of Muslims and Middle Easterners themselves. Like, you're not allowed to touch this, that's the family law, that's the religious law. The diversity of the students enrolled in Nassar's course on Islamic thought suggests that there is deep interest in learning about the growing influence of Muslims in our society. Islam is a peaceful religion. Uh, it's not a, a religion of terror. Uh, as it is being advocated by some of these Islamophobes. Imam Watek says the true approach of Islam calls for mercy, friendliness, and love. And the terror he and his family endured from Al-Qaeda in Iraq has only deepened his faith. وهذه رسالة عاهدت الله تعالى 
أن أقدمها إلى آخر نفس فأصبحوا ظاهرين